Sure. So there's a pattern called Makabinban, which means surprising. Um, it, it has it has many different words, but it basically means surprising or unusual or unexpected. And that's because when they had the color threads, they could make malongs, they were multicolor, rainbow colors, which had never been seen before. And it was only until the Americans gave these color threads as a goodwill gesture to these people who've been to the Peace Pact. So the name of this one particular pattern is called Kompak. Kompak. K-U-M-P-A-K -K or C-O-M-P-A-K or wow. whatever, Kompak. So after the Peace Compact. So because of these colors coming out, it sent a message to all the villagers, the people who had not been at these talks, that there were some real advantages to not being at war with the Americans, that they would continue to get cotton of many colors and they could have like really nice clothing. So for a lot of people, they said, well, that's a good reason not to go to war. But the areas where they had the, um, the massacres, which was south of Mindanao, mm -hmm. um, those areas didn't really have weaving so much as, uh, as one of their um, economic, you know, uh, industries because those people lived off of the sea they you know they gathered fish and they didn't they traded dried fish for clothing they didn't have weaving there so very much and because of that because it was an area that was particularly independent that had been since the beginning of time the people lived off of the sea they didn't have to depend on anybody they didn't care about colored stuff they could just trade their fish because they refused to pay taxes that's why the americans went in and killed everybody they murdered everybody and it was like we're killing everybody, and then um, the the American military officer who was in charge and said, kill every man, woman, and child over the age of 12, he was also court-martialed, and just like John Fremont had been court-martialed for murdering people of color, he was immediately reinstated. This was a common thing in the U.S. military at the time, that when their military leaders went out of control and ordered I mean, it was like a war crime of killing every man, woman, and child for not paying taxes, right? Or in the case of John Fremont, just because they weren't white. There was no other reason. Or it was, they couldn't be bothered with brown people. Um, he didn't really need, John Fremont didn't need any reason to kill people. But also this particular military officer who, who was saying kill everyone over the age of 12 their attitude was like you know we we just need to send a message out that nobody mess with us we will kill you for no reason at all but just for standing there with the wrong color skin so this is really the story of american imperialism not just overseas but also in california because mm -hmm. california was not a state it was it was a different country Mexico. it was in in north america it, well it so it it was first it was part of spain and then there was the war between spain and mexico then it was mexico and then there was a separation there was a separation of this part alta california separated from mexico and that's when the american businessmen came in for the bear bear flag revolt and then america came in so that's why there's five flags there was spain mexico an independent uh, Alta, California, um, and then it was the Bear Flag Revolt, which was the American businessmen, and then it was America. So the five flags over California. Oh, I didn't know that. It's, Thank you for sharing that. No, that's